these days I'm letting God handle all things above The things I can't change are the reason you love me What's going on fam? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all doing and feeling well. So I've decided that I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog. Today is the first one of that. I'm really happy to enter this new year in a different mindset as far as content goes. For a little while I was getting to a point where it was starting to feel like a chore. I took a break on TikTok and a few other social media platforms. But I say all that to say we're getting back to it. So today is January 2nd and basically all I have on my agenda today is to do all of my morning things which I took you through. And now I am getting ready to pick up my sister from the airport. She just landed back from bringing in the new year in another country. So yeah, so basically on today's agenda, I'm gonna head to the Apple store and pick up the Apple Studio display. I wanna change up my setup a little bit and I just feel like it's a nice clean aesthetic. Right now I have too much going on with my desktop and I feel like it's always wobbling. It's just annoying. Quick little business expense, you know what I mean? I have a few pieces of content that I need to create with that. So my sister actually Ubered here. Say what's up to the vlog. Sisters here, I am going to change because I'm getting ready to head over to the Apple store like I said. I wanted to hit the gym, but she interrupted my whole schedule. I'll catch up after I get changed. All right, so the fit is on. I'll show you guys real quick what it's looking like. So for today's fit, it's funny. This is really my favorite shirt. This is a Spirit and Sin shirt IG I'll put over here. Uh, North Face jacket, Coach Messenger bag because I have my camera and other items in here. Essentials black sweats. My new Birkenstocks. Glasses are from I Buy Direct. The watch is psycho. Yes, sir. The looks are by God himself. Amen. David Yerman on the chain. We out. Okay, these home pods are fire. My boy Praise has a bunch of them, so I was thinking about copying it. Only thing when it comes to the home pods are that they have to be plugged in. And that's sort of trash if you ask me. So we just left the mall and I was able to get the studio display. We are now getting food at a hibachi spot. I'm actually really starving right now. I haven't ate all day. Currently inside of the hibachi spot. What's going on fam? So it is currently the next day. I actually ended up crashing at my parents' house after I dropped off my sister to pick up her car so she can drive back to New York. I don't know what it was, but I felt so sick. I think it was that place that we ate at yesterday. I will never ever eat at that spot again. I think that I got food poisoning. My stomach was hurting so bad. Thank God that I feel better this morning. This morning I did my daily devotions. Spent some time with God in the morning. I'm headed back to my spot right now. I actually think I want to stop by Ikea or should I make content out of it? You see, this is the thing about being a content creator is you never know. Should I do it now or should I make content out of it? I think I'm gonna wait and make content out of it. God of Abraham. We are back. So I just did a quick fit switch. As you can see here, um, took a shower and whatnot, just got prepared. Right now what I'm about to do is shoot my video for the unboxing. Also, these are some clothes that I'm donating. Me and my friends have been donating through a clothing drive. Love that. Love the ability to let my clothes be used by people who can really benefit from having the upgrade of the drip. You feel what I'm saying? What's up fam? So it's currently the next day. My camera ran out of story. Basically all I ended up doing yesterday was just editing those videos that I was putting together and I was able to post that ASMR unboxing. So I'll also drop that video here. We got a new display. Unboxing time. And then so far today, I've been recording a day in the life vlog. I'm getting like really tired. It's 1.08 p.m. I don't have that much time. So I hate how early the sun goes down. The sun goes down literally at like 4.30 p.m., which is wild compared to how it usually goes down around 7.30, 8, 8.30 during the summer. So daylight savings time actually sucks. I'm about to take my pre-workout, hit the gym, which I'm excited about. So the desktop looks really good. I'm gonna just show you guys real quick what it's looking like. Look how clean this is. I switched my desk where it's laid out at just for a little bit because it just, I don't know, I feel like switching around your space just brings in a new type of energy. When you switch around your work area, you just feel different. So 
I did that intentionally, um, hoping that I can have a little bit more motivation to be editing and behind the computer, doing admin things. I have a lot going on with management and brands coming up. I have like five brand deals in the work and then like a few that my manager's working on that I don't even know about. So it's about to be busy. currently at the Ikea store. It's funny, my very first vlog was in the Ikea store. I'm just here to pick up bedding. I wanna pick up a new duvet and possibly like pillowcases, stuff like that. I feel like this is the single lady TikTok starter pack. I feel like they always have this couch. They always have this couch. Like it's never a sectional. It's always this couch, this, and then this, this desk. The thing y'all was just like, yeah, this is him. But yeah, it's crazy how I low-key came a long way from being able to record myself in public. Like there was a point where I was never able to do that at all. And now, I could honestly care less. By the way, I shaped myself up. I feel like I did decent. The fact that I stopped in front of every mirror is insane. I'm sure security's probably watching. I knew there was no way I was gonna leave with what I came in with. But for everyone who's wondering where I get all of my meal prep plates from, Ikea, it's a goat. I just found these deep dish ones. If you guys remember what happened last time I got these, they were all over my car. So I'm like, honestly debating if I wanna do this to myself. <laughs> we're gonna do it. Last stop of the night, Crate and Barrel. All right, so literally grabbed the second to last one. Hype about that because if not, I would've had to wait like a week for it to come in from Amazon. Now I'm headed back home. This cauliflower rice. It doesn't even taste like real rice for real. I'm gonna close out here for the night. Today is actually Friday and I didn't end up recording yesterday. I basically more or less just got back into the flow of my admin work, chatted with my manager for a little bit, responded to a few emails and just sort of started organizing all of my digital things. One thing I will say is that content creation really is still a lot of work. There's a lot of back end work that goes in. There's a lot of emails, a lot of business partners and things along those lines that go into the behind the scenes of these campaigns that you guys see. That was a big part of what I did yesterday and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna create content. That's the reason why I was creating so many, so much content so I can have moments where if I didn't feel like creating I was able to take a step back I said that to say that today what I'm getting ready to do is actually shoot a little bit more content and I realized that the duvet cover that I got is actually for a twin size instead of queen size which is what my bet is so now I literally have to go back to Ikea just to exchange it for the right size good to secure I think originally it was only one but because of the budget and because they're going over they're like all right maybe we can justify it if we get another piece of content out of it yeah I'm just trying to basically figure out what they want out of this campaign we are back in the office, AKA my bedroom. I have to phone my manager, as you guys heard, and some really, really exciting news. You know what, I'm actually not gonna go too much into detail, but long story short, I have something that's really, really exciting in the work, and I'm just really grateful for the way that God's been working in my life. Good morning, fam. Today is currently Saturday. I'm pretty sure the last thing we talked about was me getting ready to shoot content. It actually ended up getting too dark yesterday. So another day that I wasn't able to shoot the content that I had in mind. But what I wanted to show you guys is I just picked up a few things from Essence. Whoa, the toes, the toes. I was able to get this baby Milo rug for $47. Isn't that insane? $47. And it just adds a nice little pop of color. It's just dope, aesthetically pleasing. I love it. Then I got these baked pants. They're like regularly like 150 and I got them for like $75. This is the plant that I got from Ikea for like 17 bucks. Um, let me see what else did I get. Oh yeah, I also got this North Face tote. And lastly, these right here. These are like the cleanest pair of shoes that I have now. Like I actually really, really, really like these. I mean, it's just such a fire colorway. Love the design of Bapestas. I still have more of my other ones. These are like shoes that sort of just sit in your closet for a little bit and you just look at them like, damn. 
that's that. Let me do my daily devotions. I messed up today. I usually do that before scrolling on social media. I scrolled on social media for like an hour and a half, two maybe, I won't lie. Gotta get out of that habit, trying to get out of that habit. I need to be replacing that with a book. So, let's do it. And this morning's devotion was basically about giving thanks during the storm and just more or less how when we're in a storm, we're being equipped for a period of sunshine. And that's like really a testimony of my life is there's been so many times where I questioned God about why I was going through something or why things weren't working out for me when I knew I was deserving of it. But like certain barricades were in the way of my next, you know, my next potential. But I realized over the course of my life so far that's because god had bigger plans for me and he wanted me to learn within that season but like for example i was a photographer i was doing e-commerce i was doing multiple things it had its periods where it was sort of failing where it could have been doing better and now that i'm doing content creation full time now that i have a voice online now that i'm able to combine all of these skills into one thing it just shows me the reason why god had certain aspects not fall in line had i enjoyed my job even more i wouldn't have got to a point where i wanted to quit had i done really well on e-commerce i would have got to a point where i never started my job but i realized that every little bit and piece that i gained along the way came together into me becoming who I am now all right y'all i really got to get to it though i need to shoot this content because this is like day 3 or 4 for procrastinating yeah, man. I am finally done shooting. My apartment's a mess. I haven't even eaten a single thing today, so I'm about to eat. Uh, I wanted to order Chipotle, but I was like, you know what? I really need to stop eating out. So let's put that at 100. My camera decided to run out of storage, but I'm pretty close to the end of the vlog anyway, so I'm just gonna continue it and finish it on my phone. What's up fam? So today is currently February 1st. I can't believe how long it took me to edit this video. I'm just gonna say, between some personal things going on and also just like other business things that I have going on, I've been super busy, occupied mentally, uh, physically, etc. So I'm finally getting around to editing this video. I will say that this video was low key mad chaotic and I'm it's honestly weird watching your video back. I'm watching a video from like almost a month ago back and I'm just like, bruh, the amount of things that have changed between then and now, it's just crazy, but. I say all that to say that you guys can expect more videos from me. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. Also, if you made it this far, make sure to comment down below. I think the next video I'm gonna make is a life update, just basically letting you guys know where I've been at this past month. A lot of things are getting ready to shift. There's potential that I'm gonna be moving. I'm gonna be traveling in the upcoming weeks. I'm gonna vlog that. But yeah, I'm not gonna say too much because I'm really tired of making false promises. So I really wanna only start to say things that I know I'm absolutely gonna do. I'm gonna make that travel vlog and then I'm also going to make an update, just basically letting you guys know where I've been at. So. Without further ado, I thank you all so much for tuning in. Please do drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I love you guys so much, and until the next time, peace.